Salt News Hurricane Headquarters, sponsored by Entergy. Welcome back to Time Now 614 on your Friday morning, and 12 News is your Hurricane Headquarters. We continue to track Hurricane Barrel as it moves toward the Gulf of Mexico. Last night, Hurricane Barrel strengthened back to a Category 3 hurricane, causing destruction after plowing through Jamaica. Now, here's a look at the damage over in Jamaica. Floods, uh, roads were flooded, tree, and trees and signs were uprooted. Power lines were also damaged in the high winds. Island officials say two people were killed, bringing the death toll to nine now. So here's the latest on Hurricane Barrel. You can see the uh, system tracking off to the west, northwest at about 15 miles per hour. It is having winds right now with at about 110 miles per hour. So that makes it a category two hurricane. Those gusts up to about 130 miles per hour. And it is now five miles to the northeast of Tulum, Mexico. Here's a closer look at Hurricane Burl. You can kind of see not looking all that organized. And you can almost see some of that dry air trying to filter in on the back side of the system and some wind shear trying to break the storm apart. That wind shear and that land interaction should weaken this from a category two hurricane down to a tropical storm as it enters the Bay of Campeche. This particular uh, run from the National Hurricane Center has it down to a 60 mile per hour storm, uh, tropical storm as we go into late today and into early Saturday. But watch this, as we go into Sunday and into Monday, this track shows it becoming a weak hurricane as it makes landfall somewhere between Brownsville and Corpus Christi as we go into Monday and into Tuesday. Tuesday and into Wednesday, this looks to track through South Central Texas and eventually through Central Texas. And that's what we're looking at as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday in terms of rainfall chances right here in Southeast Texas. Now looking at model guidance, looks like right now, Southeast Texas could see some heavy rainfall from this system. Of course, Jeff and I, we've been kind of tracking this all week long. And Jeff, looks like we could see a good two to four inches from this system with some of the higher totals off to our south and to our west. Yeah, earlier in the week, the storm looked like it was gonna track more out towards Central Texas. Now it's gonna make that curve, not into Southeast Texas, but it'll be close enough to increase our rain chances, it looks like, as we head towards uh, parts of next week. So we'll be watching for that. We'll be definitely keeping an eye on barrel as it moves into, it looks like around the Brownsville area sometime early next week. Let's take a look outside right now. Look at this. If you're doing something and not looking at your TV, come look at the TV. Beautiful. This is a beautiful sunrise across Southwest Louisiana, Southeast Texas for this morning. This is the top of the Burrs Casino Resort. Sun's starting to come up on this Friday, day after 4th of July, looking pretty nice out there. You could say uh, nature's fireworks kind of out there for this morning. Ah, I see sunrise. what you did there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're being 911 Live Skycam <laughs> Network over in Lake Charles. Let's take a look at temperatures and we're generally into the upper 70s. 75 in Jasper, 77 in Woodville, also Port Arthur showing 77. Beaumont Orange, Kirbyville, 79, 78, and then 78 in Silsby. As we take a look outside, there are some scattered showers up towards Amarillo into Oklahoma, around Oklahoma City. Looks like some rain headed that direction. As we look across Southeast Texas, pretty quiet except for a few clouds. Now this front will start to work its way southward and that will increase our rain chances towards Saturday, uh, especially towards the lakes area. It looks like maybe as early as uh, tomorrow morning. Here's future cash showing a few showers popping up here and there along the coast, maybe this morning and then inland Southeast Texas, about a 30% coverage and maybe a few showers during the afternoon. It's going to be a hot afternoon. We'll be back up into the lower to middle nineties. Now going through the overnight, that front will start to drop a little bit farther to the south. That increases the rain chances towards the lakes, uh, say about 40% by the time we get towards Saturday morning. So our forecast reads like this, hot and humid today, about 30% coverage area wide of seeing some showers. Temperatures going to be in the middle 90s. And then for tonight, uh, higher rain chances up towards the lakes at 40%, then drop it to 30% for inland southeast Texas uh, in the triangle here, just a 20% chance of rain overnight as we'll see temperatures into the middle to upper 70s. Our 70 forecast keeps it pretty hot over the weekend, lower 90s. We'll see a good 50% coverage of rain on Saturday throughout the area. That drops to 20% on Sunday. And then once again, Barrow will be working its way through parts of Central Texas, close enough to increase our rain chances next week. 70% on Tuesday, 60% on Wednesday, and 50% on Thursday. So looks like it could be some wet weather. And it also keeps us a little bit cooler with highs in the upper 80s with the cloud cover and the rain.